Hey everybody, Brad here with GeoArm Security. Today I'm going to show you how to program the 60-36N-10-319.5 door wireless window or door contact into your GE Simon XT wireless security panel. And we're going to be using uh, read switch A and I'm going to be programming it for an instant perimeter. So the first thing we're going to do is open the box pull out the contents. You have your magnet, you have your uh, magnet mounting screws, you have your resistor and your panel mounting screws. All right, we're going to remove the contact. All right, and of course our installation guide. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the magnet, remove it out of its package. Notice there's a line on there that should align with read switch uh, read switch A, should go like that. You'll notice I'll put them right next to each other. All right, and now we're going to get into programming. We're going to use the down arrow until we reach programming, system programming. Hit OK. It's going to ask for a default installer code 4321. Click OK. Scroll down until you see sensors. Select OK again. And we're going to be learning a sensor. All right, so go ahead and select Learn Sensor. Now it's going to ask us to trip the sensor. So we're going to take a, a small flathead screwdriver. We're going to locate the area with the little groove protruding. We're going to take our flathead screwdriver. We're going to insert it into this groove. And with our thumb, we'll go ahead and pop the system open. You'll see it's acknowledged it and learned it in. Open it up. Now what I want to show you is as we've seen in previous videos, you want to refer to figure three. So if you look now, based on the jumper and where the where the jumper is supposed to be, right now it looks like it's set up as the default for read switch B. We're going to go ahead and program read switch A, which means you want to have the left prong exposed. All right, so we're, it's very simple. You take the jumper out. See, there's three prongs. You're going to move it all the way to the right, exposing only the left uh, prong. All right, now that we have that in there, we're going to take our cover, okay? Locate the end with the little groove. Locate the end with where the actual reed switch is. We're going to slide this notch in. Keep them about a half inch apart. Now it's asking for group number. As we know, 10 is for uh, for a delay to disarm gives you 30 seconds. We want an instant perimeter, which is going to be th group 13. Go ahead and select OK. All right, again, it's asking you for this. We'll show you how to change the zone descriptions in another video. Select OK. You can select OK again. It's asking for more information. Now it's asking us to trip another sensor. We're only working with this one for the time being. Select status until you get out of programming. All right, now I'm going to remove this contact and select doors and windows. Front door open. You'll see that it acknowledges the magnet is taken away. As soon as I replace this magnet, the system will then begin arming. Doors and windows on. As you can see, it's going to go through its arming process. The beeps are pretty far apart. And then you'll notice the, the, the intervals of the beeps will become much quicker uh, within 10 seconds before the system arms to let Okay, as you can see the intervals have picked up that means there's 10 seconds before the system is fully armed and then the beeps will stop letting you know the system is armed. All right, the system is armed. Uh, we did set it as an instant perimeter, so I'm going to remove it to show you that it does work. Uh, it is a little loud. I will disarm the system very quickly.